Hello, I thought I'd just do a little comparison between a few trackballs and a mouse just to provide a little sense of scale. Uh, this is the Elecom Fingerball that came out recently. Uh, a lot of people say that it is quite small. Um, it's, I don't find that it's particularly notably small compared to other similar devices. If you can see when they're all lined up, they're all around the same size. This is a Logitech G602, just so you can see the grip. Fingers extend to the end, and off the sides. Side view, my finger goes almost to the forward tip. The Elecom, I place my hand on it. My fingers go pretty much to the forward end. And there are little rests there for the end fingers. On the side. See the ball operation. Fits in my hand. And Logitech thumb ball. Fingers go to the end of the device. There's a rest for the fingers on the side. But I'm still touching the table, notably. And Kensington Slim Blade. I almost want to call this like a handball rather than a fingerball because when I use it I tend to use three fingers. Um, I'm just going to focus a bit more on this one since this is a bit more of interest to most people. Uh, notably, I find that these two top buttons don't use the same kind of switches as the left click and right click. You can probably hear the difference. So they're not quite as nice. Uh, and notably, the scroll wheel is actually a tilt wheel, so you can push down on it or push up on it, and it'll do horizontal scrolling. The problem is then when you want to press down on it to middle click, you'll very often press down towards the ground and inwards. So here you can hear it kind of making two click sounds instead of just inwards. And I find that very awkward if you're just trying to use it for internet browsing and you want to middle click to open a new tab. Also notably, the amount of ball that's exposed is rather low. So when you're trying to do horizontal motions, you often have to do many small motions, as opposed to with the Logitech one, where there's a much larger amount of ball exposed. So when you're trying to go horizontally, you can make broader motions. So at work, where I have two screens, I find this uh, quite awkward to use. And I end up doing that a lot, whereas vertically it's fine. Uh, I also find that personally, with these finger-operated balls, when you want to uh, click, your index finger tends to move. As you can see, my index finger is kind of twitching a bit when I pull my thumb in. And it makes me move the cursor a little bit as I'm trying to click, so often I have to remove my finger and hover it a little bit. Um, just to say how large my hand is, from the bottom of my palm to the top of my uh, middle finger is around 7 inches, and from the edge of my thumb to the end of my pinky is around 8 inches, so I have a actually a fairly small hand. Um, but even that being said, uh, this is a Logitech mouse that's, I guess, you know, targeted towards uh, North American audiences, and it's not much larger than the other devices. So if you have particularly large hands, it may be a bit more awkward, but I feel that it's a pretty standard size thing, unless this mouse is particularly small, which could be a thing. Um, personally speaking, my preference between these three trackballs is easily the slim blade, just because the ball is so much larger. And again, when you look at the amount of ball that's exposed, there's a large amount of ball exposed. So it's easy to make broad motions across a lot of space. And because the ball is larger, you have more fine control. Um, I like finger balls more than thumb balls because I don't like the lack of precision in thumb balls generally. But because of the amount of ball exposed here, it's a bit easier to use than this one. Um, in terms of comfort, this is quite comfy. It fits your hand probably very well, like the best out of all of them, I would say. If you look at the forward profile, it has a nice kind of amount of inclination so that your hand rests naturally on it, and it's very broad. This is kind of similar, but it's a bit lower to the desk. So when you put your hand on it, 
Uh, it's quite nice. Except, of course, the symbol is also comfortable in a different way, because it doesn't have to accommodate your hand so much. You kind of float a little bit, or you anchor, perhaps. And that's all. Thanks for looking.